Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Hope you are having a great day. So pretty much, I remember it was probably around my birthday last year, around September time frame, and I did a video talking to you guys about certain items that I absolutely enjoyed and pretty much I had to re up on a lot of those things. I'm currently in my master bath. I'm gonna start putting things away and also working on organizing. I have a collab coming up with Container Store. I'm really, really excited because I'm gonna have like all the clear containers and all the things and stuff. Everything's gonna be like in this proper place. So I'm really excited about that. But what I wanted to do was kind of share some of those items with you guys again. So it's gonna be a little redundant. I know that some of you guys are new. So I figured why not share it again? The first thing that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys is a scrub which is the raw sugar sugar scrub this one here is raw coconut and mango the last time i shared this with you guys mm, i'm almost positive that i share with you a different fragrance i really 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 love my scrubs the next scrub i've actually talked about it twice on my channel and i pretty much just reordered again because i have one left and it was only half and it's in atlanta which I'm not getting it anytime soon. This one here is the Crush Almond and Mango Butter. And then this one here is the Crush Macadamia and Rice Milk. You guys, pretty much I stand on exactly what I said before, which is these are absolutely amazing. It's super creamy and buttery, and it feels like it really like penetrates and moisturizes your skin, which is why I absolutely love it. Mm, oh my gosh, this one is amazing. Look at the mango. I like really fruity um, scents. The next scrub is from Lush, you guys. First of all, let me just share the items that I have from Lush. This one is the Boo from Lush, and it's all done. Like This is like the third or fourth one that I have finished, which I have to re-up on that. And then I have the Rub, Rub, Rub Shower Scrub. It is absolutely amazing. It said subtle mimosa. I definitely enjoy using this product a whole lot. And if you haven't tried Lush products, you should definitely try it. I think you guys will definitely love it because it's just absolutely amazing. Okay. And then going back to Lush again. <laughs> First of all, I collabed with them and I got two sprays and then I bought two more and I've been buying these like no one's business. Before I go to bed sometimes, I spray these on. I spray it all over my legs, all over my body, head to toe. I'm like spraying this and they smell absolutely amazing. If you haven't tried them, please try them because they are really, really great. Um, Pink, Yubnog is no longer available. Celebrate and Golden Pear is what I have. Moving on to just a little bit of skincare. I have... LA Beautyologist. Her name now is the Golden RX. I did purchase her toner, which I really, really love. I told you guys that I feel like, um, in terms of what she's sharing on her channel, it's not um, personal to her. Like when I share things with you guys, it's personal to what I like. The information that she shares on her channel, the content that she has, I feel like it's general. And because she is a licensed esthetician, um, and then she does black skincare, I feel like if you're really interested in finding out what's gonna work for your skin and maybe try something out, I would highly again recommend her channel just because I feel like you'd be kind of heading in the right direction. A lot of you guys always ask me like what I use for my skin and just because I use it doesn't mean necessarily that it's going to work for you. Um, another product that I got from Lush is the lip scrub. This one here is in the bubble gum. This is actually my last one. I had four. Looks and smells absolutely amazing. I love it. Again, the really great thing about these uh, lip scrubs is I would lick my lips take my finger apply it and then you can lip lick your lips to remove it again this is my last one so again i'm gonna have to call my rep that way i can get a little bit more products i have been loving this and i've also been loving some of their hair products i got some little small samples um in the mail and i really like it don't ask me if it grows your hair or not i have no idea but what i can say is it smells and it feels good especially the mint tea tree shampoo with um 
I want to say it has jojoba in it. You guys, it smells amazing. And when you first shampoo your scalp, it's not tingly. But when you go to rinse, that's when you really start feeling it. And I do love that a whole lot. Okay. The next one, again, going back into skincare, which I'm probably going to show this in every freaking video, is the Jo Malone, the Creme Pour La Col. I absolutely love it. Love it. Love it. To be honest with you, when I'm in a bad mood or maybe I'm not having the best day, the best thing for me to do is do a little bit of TLC, which is like run a hot bath, put on my, my uh, Creme Pour La Col by uh, Jo Malone. Put me on some perfume and lay myself down and light my candle. And for some particular reason, it just really relaxes me and I'm perfectly fine. And um, I actually have, I think I have four of these or maybe three. I'm not 100% sure. I stopped counting. Legit, this thing is like almost done because I be up in here. So I'm trying to like slow down on using it. Just because once it's done, I'm probably not going to order anymore. Not because I don't love it. It is really expensive. And I told myself before I got into the house, I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and spend this much and get everything that I need. And I'm going to use it. And then I'm not going to worry about it after that. So I'm not, I'm trying to use it real, you know, a little pinch, a little pinch there. You know what I'm saying? And then... I believe with the laundry haul that I did, you guys got to see some of the shower products. I really do love Dove. Um, if I'm running a bath or something and I may not have all of my Epsom salt and all that stuff, I will go ahead and pump the Dove in there two, three times, especially for the kids. Even though the boys are getting older, they still like their bath. So I will do one or two to three pumps in here and just run the bath. This one is the cucumber and green tea. Then the other one is the pomegranate. And the other one is like a coconut and almond or something like that. But I love the fact that it comes in a pump. I feel like the boys don't use it as much as the squirt bottle. That squirt bottle used to be done in like three days. And I'm like, yeah, I ain't taking that for bed. Like, don't do that. <laughs> So I do that. The next thing is I purchased the Dr. Teal's Pink Himalayan um, Bath Salt. So the last video that I shared with you guys, um, the bag had the loose bath salts. And after I got done recording that video, I was like, dang, I just don't want to put it in an apothecary jar simply because that whole cleaning and dusting everything in the bathroom, like... I don't want to do that anymore. I really don't. So I was trying. So I was trying to do away with having to have that around. And I'm like, hopefully they come out with something. So when I saw the bath bomb, I'm like, oh my gosh, they answered my freaking prayer. So I opened this one last night. You can definitely control how much you want in the tub. You can do one or two. I think when I do mine, I'm gonna do one just to see how I like it. And then if I have to do two, do two. But this is it it's in a little package like this and i really like it and then i also picked up the dr teal's pink himalayan foaming bath and it is um 34 fluid ounces you guys yes <laughs> i'm looking forward to this they also have a lotion but because i had just gotten the vaseline and stuff and then i have the Jo malone I just didn't see a reason to spend extra money on a lotion. But if you guys have tried the lotion and you like it, let me know. It can definitely turn into like a little uh, night routine thing for me. I was thinking about doing the lavender. Yeah, but you guys know how I feel about lavender. But I was just like, for some particular reason, I think I got too excited. Because I picked up the lavender balls. I picked up the lavender. It was like a little tea bag. And then I did the soap. But for some particular reason, I don't know if it was the tea bag. It just smelled a little mature. Not like my lavender that I normally have. The one that I have, it just has a, like a real soft. This one was type strong. So I, I took, I put it back and I just stuck with the pink Himalayan. But I think I might try just the, the lavender uh, bath salt and not everything together. Because... It just didn't, it just, I don't know. It just, I don't know. <laughs> it sound was off, I don't know. The next thing is the Dr. Brenner's Purple Maker Steel Soap. Normally, I would say to you, when you find a product that you can do everything with, you probably don't want to use it. But I've been using this for the last couple years. 
and I really haven't had any issues. So I really, 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 really love it. Really love it. I highly suggest when you're done with the bottle to keep it. That way you can kind of dilute it. I cannot ease it straight out of the bottle. I have to dilute it. It's extremely strong. But like I said, having this much solution and filling it up with water for me is just fine. It still does what it's supposed to do, which I love. And if you saw my laundry video, you know that there's about four, maybe three to four inside. So I keep that on deck. Something else that I got, which is so out of... Something else that I got, which is not normal for me, but it kind of went a little viral for the wrong reason. People were complaining that they thought the video was targeted to like Black America or something like that. I don't know. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and order it. So I purchased the Honey Pot. And it is the tampons, TMI. What I really wanted, which is what everyone was raving about, were the wipes. So I purchased this one to stay in the house. And then I purchased this one to travel with me. Oh, take fresh to go. I was like, I, that's okay. Yesterday I seen this and I could not figure it out. I'm like, I thought this thing said to go. So these are super cute. I can put it in my Le Réveilleton Pachette and just put it in my bag. And this thing does say non-flushable, just for the record. So do not buy the wipes and flush it. And then the next thing is my deodorant. I have been using this now for maybe two or three years, which is the Donna Karen Cashmere Mist. I swear by this product i swear by it i absolutely love it it holds me all day long and it is just like the best best thing that i could ever purchase i believe three years ago when i bought it it was like 60 bucks and i was like am i really about to spend six thousand on three thing which is like 20 bucks a piece on deodorant when i've always kind of went to walmart and just gotten deodorant or cvs and gotten deodorant but then i was like you know what these are not working and i've tried clinical strength this and this and this and th it was just not working when i tell you that this deodorant worked it worked like no other and for some particular reason and for some particular and for some particular reason i don't know why but as the day progressed and i get like sweaty or something like that it really starts to kick in and you can smell that like really beautiful powdery scent to it so i know it may be a little pricey and if you don't have it that's perfectly fine but if you're looking for something I would highly recommend this and I promise you like I've tried so much I was doing the one month because they normally to say it takes a minute for your body to kind of kick into like any natural things so I tried the the salt no my last thing was like you know what I'm just gonna go ahead and get the whole little Botox thing because it just starts from sweat and all that stuff which I don't know how safe that was either and finally I was like well it's either, you know, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe a thousand dollars on, on Botox or try this and see how it works. And I was like, I'll try this for 60 bucks. So it ended up working. So I highly recommend it. And then the last thing is I picked up this flowers, 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 flowers. Anyway, these are little things that I wanted to just kind of put in my pochette. Nothing. Oh, it smells strong. Okay. It's called Coco Flus. It's called Coco Floss, 32 yards worth of floss in here, 60 days. Oh, this is cute. The back has a little grid that kind of shares a little time calendar to let you know how much you have left. I like this. This is really cute. Probably going to go online and look for some more. I'll link it in the description box down below. I, I like this because when I'm almost done with something, I like to know. I don't like to ready be to use something and then I'm like, really you know but that's pretty much it you guys that's pretty much everything that i kind of read up on and like i said i do have a collaboration coming up with container store so i'm going to try to organize the refrigerator i'm not going to do the pantry because the pantry is going to have cabinetry and i'm going to do my drawers in here you guys i have three drawers you know if you want to measure your space what you want to do oh you can't really see it but you want to measure the height the length, the width, that way you can figure out exactly what can fit in each compartment. I'm about to go ahead and run myself a really nice hot bath and try my um, Himalayan bath salt. And I'm going to try, what else am I going to try? Mm, I think that's it. I'll let you guys know how I like it. If it's better 
or um, this. If it actually works better than the bath salt smooth crystals, or do I like that one a little bit better? I'll leave that in the comment in case you guys are interested. I'm gonna do my best to locate these things online and leave them in the description box. If you don't see something there, that means I didn't find it, but I'll try to leave everything down there. You're not obligated to buy anything whatsoever. Let me just say that now, but sometimes you guys ask, so I'm gonna leave it down there for you. Anyway, you guys have a really good one, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.